What's good YouTube, Ben here, welcome to the next video on the channel. In this one, I'm going to give you another old school RuneScape free to play money making guide. This one's called Logs Equals Profit. But before we get in, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe please because you guys have been smashing it recently. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell to be notified of all uploads and live streams because I do upload daily and I live stream most days. When I go live, I go live on both YouTube and Twitch at the same time. So if you want to support me when I go live, but don't want to do it on the YouTube side, you can always join me on Twitch. That link is down below, along with my links to Discord and TikTok. They are also down below. And don't forget, you can also um, support the channel further by becoming a channel member from as little as 99 pence per month here in the UK or about $1.30 in American. Let's get into this. All right, so this is a no requirement moneymaker. In fact, you could do this as soon as you get here from Tutorial Island. So all we're going to be doing is going up to the top of Lumbridge Castle and there is log spawns up there. And you might think, wait a minute, they can't be really be worth much. They actually are worth a decent amount of money considering it's no requirements and you can do it right out the gate from the beginning of the game. As you can see, there are logs here. Now it says they go for 92 GP, they do not but they do not go for a bad amount of money. So what we're gonna be doing is literally picking up these log spawns and then hopping worlds and keeping on picking them up. Now, I've had some suggestions on some of my other RuneScape money makers. Um, so I'm gonna do this for a set amount of time. I'm gonna do this for let's say 15 minutes and we'll see exactly how much money we can make in about 15 minutes. So I have my handy dandy little timer right here, top left of the screen. We're gonna go for 15 minutes and see what we can do. So. Let's start the timer. All right, we're going to do a quick world hop. Again, hop between any worlds you want. I'm going to go to all down the free-to-play worlds. They'll respawn, so... Now, of course, world hopping can take a hot minute. And don't worry, you're not going to be watching for 15 straight minutes of me just picking up logs. That's kind of boring. What we are going to be doing, though, is speeding up in segments. So enjoy that, won't you? Actually, one thing um, you guys may be wondering, why are we picking them up rather than cutting them from a tree? Because if you cut them from a tree, you can get wood cooking experience. This is true. However, there isn't a tree that's close enough, to, really close enough to a bank like this. Plus, there are four log spawns you can pick up within seconds and you can bank them very quickly. So that's why doing this over wood cutting, I guess, would be faster. Because one, there's more spawns. Two, it's really close to a bank. And three, you don't really have to go anywhere. Like, you literally run into the bank once your inventory is full, run back out, and voila. There are more log spawns, hop worlds, and there are just even more. And we can just keep on continuously doing this for as long as we really want. Because by the time we cycle through all the free-to-play worlds, the logs would have started respawning, so... <laughs> Alright, first inventory is full. Very, very nice. We're just going to go ahead and run into the bank. Another thing I actually kind of want to know, though, um, we're about, what, 11 minutes, well, 12 minutes in. Well, nah, three minutes in, sorry. One thing I'd love to know is why normal logs are like decently priced because i mean you can cut them from level one um i mean i get it people use them for fire making but still like surely because it's so low level you wouldn't think that it's one of those things you know that person's doing cooking i mean for all i know it could be a bot i mean free to play is literally flooded with them because the the cost to make accounts is basically zero because it's free to play so <laughs> You know, it wouldn't surprise me if most of the players on free to play worlds are bots now, to be honest, but that's another problem that the game developers have to address at some point or another. Like there are bots, you know, we need to deal with them. Anyway, <laughs> back to the log grind. All right, second inventory done. Alright, we've now been doing this for about six minutes. 
Um, I will admit, money makers like this aren't extremely fun. I'd highly recommend putting on like Netflix or a YouTube video or something in the background, Twitch stream or whatever, in the background to keep yourself entertained whilst doing a money maker like this. Because whilst you know it's basically free GP, because you know you're literally just picking up logs and banking them, you know, like. It's one of those money makers that's completely brain dead. Like, you literally hop on, collect logs, and that is basically the extent of your money making. The thing is, unlike a lot of other money makers, it's not AFK in any way. So, because of that, you are constantly clicking, meaning that you need to constantly keep an eye on it. It's not like, you know, say, woodcutting use or whatever, where you can just sit there and let it happen for a while. Like, it's a very involved money maker. But at the same time, evolved money makers can also be really decent for profit because you're constantly doing stuff. You're not waiting on the game to just hand it to you. You're actually collecting it yourself. So those kinds of money makers are definitely somewhat more profitable depending on how fast you are and how consistent you can do it. But inventory three done. Alright, well we have about five minutes left, and this is our fourth invent, so we're not looking too bad actually. Another thing I find very interesting about these kinds of money makers as well, is because of how low requirement easy they are, it honestly does surprise me that the logs just haven't flooded the market like this, or there's not like a massive bot farm or whatever. Not like I'm asking for there to be one, but you know, like this is kind of like a sort of, I don't know, it is definitely a brain dead money maker, but it's a money maker nonetheless. So like, I'm gonna cover it because it's a money maker. And the thing is, I've had people comment on my videos like, this isn't a good money maker because you can't make, you know, millions faster. I'm like, okay, fine. But my videos aren't just about that. Like, I want to showcase money makers that either anyone could do or just different ones that aren't, you know, go and take out Ogress Warriors or go and cut U logs for 50 hours or go and do this or go and do that. Like, I'm showcasing money makers that either people just aren't aware of or ones that people don't think are actually profitable when they are. You know, this is a decently profitable enemy considering it is basically, it's no requirements. You need nothing. Like, some of my other no requirement money makers technically have a requirement, which is, like, starting GP or whatever. But, like, this is literally no requirements. It requires none. <laughs> you literally go to Lumbridge Castle, pick up logs, and bank them. Like, that's the only requirement here. We're not making it take any other requirements whatsoever. So we're just hopping worlds, picking up logs, and that is it. Alright, fifth inventory down. Well, we have less than a minute to go. Can we get one more at full inventory? Let's find out. All right, that's time. So, in 15 minutes, let's see how many logs. Oh, we actually almost did finish off the final inventory. Uh, I better quickly cut our bank pin. <laughs> Alright. So, in 15 minutes, we were roughly able to get about 165 logs. But let's go and sell them at the Grand Exchange. So, of course, I'm just going to use Teleport to Varrock, which... You know, if you have level 25 magic, you can also do. Which, getting level 25 magic is not hard. 
But no, definitely let me know in the comments down below on this video if you enjoy the the time-based money making as opposed to just me doing an invent like I normally would. Let me know in the comments down below if you do enjoy that, and I'll do this more often when it comes to my money makers. Like, because I do find it quite enjoyable to do. I mean, granted, it was just 15 minutes of me picking up logs this time, but I'm sure not every time will be like that. <laughs> but grand exchange time. Okay, so let's go and exchange these. So, sell. Now, they're going to sell roughly for about 76. So, in 15 minutes, we just made 13,200 coins. They're literally a completely brain-dead moneymaker because you literally pick up logs. You could do this right at the start of the game. So, for starting GP, it's definitely not bad. Like, you could definitely probably make about 50k an hour doing this. I mean, for... A, no requirement money maker that is not bad at all but let me know what you thought about this video in the comments down below don't forget to like comment and subscribe please because you guys have been smashing it recently don't forget to turn the notifications notified of all uploads and live streams because i do upload daily and i live stream most days whenever i go live i go live on youtube but at the same time i go live on twitch as well so if you want to support me when i'm live don't forget you could also join me on the twitch side don't forget you can also um Support the channel further by becoming a channel member from as little as 99 pence per month here in the UK or about $1.30 in America. I'll catch you guys in the next one.